Hey everybody, uh, we're going to talk about setting up your hosting package today. Uh, hosting is uh, an, an important necessity if you're going to have a, a website published on the internet. It needs to be hosted somewhere, so the files need to be available for public viewing on the internet. Uh, you may be able to purchase hosting through a number of uh, different services such as your um, your service your internet service provider or the domain name uh, company that you purchase from uh, but I want to recommend a specific company called HostGator. What you're going to do is you're going to go to my website joshthomas80.com and then you're going to click on free tools Okay. Uh, this this site is kind of changing as I continue to develop, but this is what it looks like right now. You're going to look for a link called Website Tools. Done. Okay, and this tells you all, uh, all of the tools that you're going to need to get your own personal site up on the internet. Okay, and I'm adding to this as well. Okay, you can get your domain name here. You can get your free web design software here, <clears throat> hosting here, and the FTP client here. Uh, FTP stands for File Transfer protocol and that's going to be covered in another video in case you don't know what that is very important step uh, not going to cost you anything and it's very very easy to do okay but for now we're going to worry about hosting I've got the link set up for you all you have to do is click on this link it'll take you directly to the HostGator website okay and you can read up on HostGator and see what it's all about so we're going to click on learn more up here for hosting <clears throat> and uh, in in case you're in the uh, uh, Valentine's spirit and you want to uh, share uh, a web server with your sweetheart for Valentine's Day you can they're running a special on that right now I, th I think that's kind of funny you know I would I would I would get my significant a uh, box of chocolates or some flowers but I didn't think to you know get her a web hosting package so good for them <clears throat> anyway uh, you can choose between Linux and Windows uh, okay, Windows is coming soon. So Linux, it is. Uh, I use Linux. It's just an open source. It's a it's a, a cross-platform compatible. Uh, you can you can pretty much use any any system or service. Okay, there are three different packages you can get with three different prices. Don't let these prices fool you. These are if you pay for three years. If you pay monthly, it's going to be a couple of bucks more. Um, you know, and you, if you pay monthly, this this hatchling package isn't very attractive uh, because the baby is only a dollar more a month. Here's the main difference. If you scroll here, through here, you look and you see that a lot of the features that are available are available on all three packages. You know, the only difference is you get a, like a toll-free number and a dedicated IP over here. Um, <clears throat> but the main difference is between the bottom package, the hatchling, and the baby in business is one domain you only get one domain for the hatchling package if you're planning on doing more than one website you're host okay so uh, I would recommend the baby or the business just depending on your needs the the baby has just about everything the business has with the exception of a uh, I think a dedicated IP and a toll-free phone number with like a hundred minutes which you know I, on my cell phone I use a hundred minutes in like you know two or three hours being a real estate agent it's it's a uh, it's pretty crazy how many people call me in a day so I would recommend the baby package um, you know unless you're really gonna go for it I do have the business package I'm not sure if I've used all the features yet so get the baby package uh, it's worth the extra buck Okay, and then I do recommend that you buy your domain name through a different service. Uh, HostGator is not in the business of selling domain names. They're in the business of web hosting. So uh, buy your domain name from somebody that sells domain names like GoDaddy. Um, that's also on my website. So we're just going to use an existing domain, Network Marketing Platypus. Sounds kind of network sounds kind of goofy I know but it's just a just a little project that I'm working on so we'll see if it ever turns into something okay so we just type in it without the HTTP or anything like that network marketing platypus.com that's gonna be my primary domain this is how much it's gonna cost me okay if I have a coupon calculate the totals BAM okay and then I say I'm a new customer and I click continue and I fill out this form and you guys know what to do from there so 
After you do that, you're going to get an email with the confirmation and everything like that. You click through, it's going to ask you to sign in to your control panel. This is what your control panel is going to look like. Now, very intimidating at first. Look at all this stuff on here. A lot of stuff. You might be thinking, I don't even know, my SQL, what the heck is that? I, you know, it's there's a lot of stuff on there. <clears throat> PHP, all this stuff maybe you've heard of before but don't know what to do with. Let me narrow it down to only the things that you're going to actually use on a daily basis. Okay, First thing you want to do, getting started wizard. Bam, this will tell you how to get your first domain set up for hosting. Video tutorials. Now, I've noticed that these tutorials are not overly descriptive in uh, showing you how to do things. You know, I've watched them, and it's it's. I've still kind of been left hanging sometimes, and I've had to actually call. And you can contact them. You can call them. I don't remember. It may be a 24-hour service, but somebody will answer the phone and answer your questions, which is what's really cool about HostGator. You can talk to a live person. Or you can check out their online support forum submit a ticket, things like that. <clears throat> now, if you need help setting up your uh, website or if you want a template, you can use Site Studio or the Site Builder. You can create a form for your website. If you, if you want to use any of these tools, they're all pretty good basic tools. I prefer to use Composer just because even if, even if I lose a little bit of the uh, pizzazz, if you will, I know that every single thing on that page is my product and I have complete control over it. Okay, so that's that's your decision. And the next thing you're going to need to know about is down here, email accounts. Okay, email accounts and webmail. When you click on email accounts, you can literally set up unlimited email addresses for any domain that you have. So let's say I got for my joshthomas80.com, I want to set up one called uh, cool guy at joshthomas80.com. I uh, create a password, and I don't I don't want a quota limit on that. I click create. It takes a second, and then it asks you if you want to configure it for your mail client, which you can you can uh, let's let's click through there and do that real quick. Okay, so you just select whatever mail client you're using on your desktop. I have Mac Mail, so I click on this, and then you download this file. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you download the file, and once it shows up on your desktop, you literally just double-click to open it, and it does the rest of the work for you, and it's all set up. If you'd rather use webmail <clears throat> to access it, just remember your uh, username and password, and just click on webmail. Go to webmail login, and log in, and you can read your mail right from there. Okay, the next thing you need to look at is FTP accounts, or uh, where is it? Yeah, FTP accounts. Okay, and then you know, let's say we're gonna we're gonna create that network marketing platypus, and we're just gonna leave the .com off and all that stuff. Okay, but we're just gonna type in everything between the colon and the and the dot, okay, and then we generate a password. Okay, and then we click create. It's gonna pop up down here. And what we'll do is we'll click Configure FTP Client. And this is going to be covered in another video, but basically these are all free clients that I'm going to talk about. And uh, just like the mail client, you download a page on your desktop, open it up, and you literally you drag and drop it to the FTP. And you're all set up for, your, uh, for getting your uh, home page or your web pages from your desktop to the internet, published to the internet. It is just that easy, my friends. And then uh, there are a lot of other things down here that you can check out. Uh, here's where you can add on more domains. You can create subdomains, which is uh, like something.joshthomasady.com. Uh, you know, it's uh, when it shows up before the domain, it's called a subdomain. You can set up as many of those as you want. Okay, and a lot of other cool stuff down here that uh, you may never actually use. Uh, but anyway, that's HostGator. That's how uh, just a crash course on how to get that set up. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more information, uh, some more in-depth information about that soon for you. Okay, thanks for checking this out and uh, don't forget to visit my site joshthomas80.com and uh, you can get your whole website set up from there. Okay, thanks.